Up next, heart disease warning signs that could save your life. Hi everyone, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Alexis Cairo. Our guest today is Alice Lara with the SADS Foundation, and SADS stands for Sudden Arrhythmia Death Syndromes, right? Yes. Thank you. What is that? So that is a genetic heart condition, um, multiple genetic heart conditions that can cause a young person to suddenly die. Very treatable, um, but you could also die if you don't know and get treated. So we talk about warning signs, and we hear about warning signs for all sorts of things, strokes or whatever. What are the warning signs? For Number SADS? one is family history. Okay. You have had someone in the family die suddenly um, without mm -hmm. a reason, or even if it's something like a drowning suddenly or a single car accident. Why did they that happen? Could be. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Number two is fainting, um, especially if it's with exercise or if you're startled, like a loud noise or you know, the alarm clock goes off when you're asleep and wakes you up if there's some kind of a faint. Uh -huh. And the last one is chest pain that is frequent and every time you really exercise a lot that you have as a young person, chest pain. Now you say young person, and why, why are you limiting it to young person? And what do we mean by young person? Teenagers, 20s? So absolutely. So this is a genetic condition, so you're born with it. 10% of uh, babies who die of SIDS have this condition. Oh, so um, there is a link there. Is a link to that little bit of okay. SIDS. Mm -hmm. um, but you have symptoms, most people, if they're going to, when they're young in um, pre-puberty in boys and just a little bit older in girls. Mm -hmm. So we want to catch that before you have that one symptom symptom that might be death. Mm -hmm. And you talk about some of these warning signs, and whether it's in the, the fainting or the car. I mean, a lot of times, um, younger people, obviously, they don't drive. And I mean, there may be certain things that they don't do that might sort of show these symptoms. Is it hard to, to diagnose? How do you, how do you diagnose when you have go. a blood test, family history, what? There you go. So I think it's it, family history is the first number one thing. So you just thing. have to look back sort of in right. your history? Right, and then ask your physician. And then you would get an EKG. That is that heart monitor thing where they can see how your heart's beating. Mm -hmm. And that would um, show that you have maybe this irregular, this longer QT interval. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the second. There is genetic testing. That's like okay. way down in the process where they think, well, maybe you really do have this. Let's find your exact family mutation. Mm -hmm. And then you test everybody else in the family to make sure whether or not they have this mm -hmm. mutation. We were talking before about a, a, an incident uh, an incident that you have may not necessarily kill you, right? But that you may it, does it cause does it cause damage? Like if you have an incident, will it cause damage no. to the heart? The heart's normal, fine, hundred percent in these conditions. It's all electrical, so it's one little tiny mutation that causes that little electrical malfunction um, that would cause your heart to spin out of control in that situation. And it could be during exercise. It could be that you. Um, have the flu and have been vomiting and so you're a little bit dehydrated that could cause it It could be that you took erythromycin or one of a big long list of drugs That's that the other thing prolong. you said a lot of uh, and and so is that another reason I guess to be diagnosed with the condition right? Right. So you can watch your medication right 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 because then you watch that and you take a pill once a day most people and that's it You're good mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, And you can pass it on to your kids so then you know that you have your children checked and it's 50 percent chance of passing it on right. so hopefully you find that even in utero you can treat babies amazing so 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 again before we we wrap it up tell me once again what you want people to leave here knowing right so number one is just to look at the warning sign list okay. um on our website is that list of do you have a family history of someone dying suddenly do you faint suddenly without warning especially with exercise or startle okay. see great. your doctor great Fascinating. I'd never heard of this, so it's great to have you on. Thank, Thank you. you. Our guest today has been Alice Lara with the SADS Foundation. I'm Alexis Cairo. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Mm -hmm.